seen what you can do. Welcome back, everyone. And I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So today, uh, well, I guess it's reported that the Mandalorian Grogu movie has a $120 million budget. Now, yes, $120 million does seem like a lot for a movie. Or does it? I don't think so. For something that's going to end the whole Mandoverse, this is where everything everything ties together. Um, Ahsoka Tano, Luke's journey in this period in time. You know, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return. So much that Boba Fett and all them, there's so much that tie into this. 120 million. Now it is John Favreau, so John Favreau has been known to do a a whole lot with less. I mean, he did the first Iron Man 100. Yeah, I know it was back in what 2008, the first one, but he did that on 150 million. Uh, what was it, 150 or 140 million? And that movie was phenomenal. It kicked off the whole superhero craze. And then you got to look at like the creator. They did that for 80 million. Granted, the movie wasn't the greatest, um, but the special effects were amazing. So we're in that like mid range here. And I know it's going to be flexible because uh, John Favreau and Dave Filoni, they know how important this is. And by that time, because we got a little bit of time till this goes out anyway, you got to finish all the TV shows and um, apparently some other, yeah. You'll be doing some movies in between, like the Ray movie. Ray who? Ray Skywalker. But okay. So we got a little bit of time. This budget can increase. But I don't want, like, to have... As you may or may not have heard... All the soundstage. If you're going to do that $120 million, you can find a way, ways to cut corners. I want more real-life sets. I want you to take it back to, like, kind of the George Lucas feel. When Lucasfilm was at their at their peak, at the, in their prime of building sets, building models. I know they probably won't do that. Probably not. For some odd reason, they'll still keep using the soundstage. And I get to the soundstage, you can do more of the soundstage and, and you got more screens and th- th- understandable, but you can kind of go down, go back to the practical effects a little bit too with it and it'll save you a lot more money. So, but, um, with the, and I, with the, I hope it's just a working title, the Mandalorian Grogu. And here's another thing too. So if it's their movie, make it their movie. Cause you have 120, 20 million, right? So you're going to pass that around to Katie Sackhoff, Bo-Katan. You're going to pass. It. No. A lot of people will want big money for this because it's the end. It's the end of that, you know, and this is where all the shows come together into one movie, right? But I need you to make Disney, Lucasfilm, I need you to make it more about Mandalorian Grogu throughout the whole thing. And if characters pop up here and there, here and there, everybody gets their appearance, it works out. And I know it's unfortunate Gina Carano can't come back. But she won't come back. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of time. Maybe she sues Disney and wins, and then they come to some agreement, and then you get Cara Dune back. Grief Karga is, uh, uh, yeah, Carl Weathers, rest in peace. I mean, just do something with his likeness. I would appreciate that. Or um, Let's honor him. Do like a whole whole portion where it's a little bit about grief. But, and then Luke. Luke Skywalker, this Luke Skywalker, that. You guys made Luke so badass in season two. Like, ridiculous. Bring Luke back. I mean, well, you don't have to really do. I don't think, you see, that's another thing. They've messed that up with Mark Hamill, too. He's done. So it's like, are we going to talk about Luke? See, this is this is what why this movie is so important. Because it could literally fix all those debacles of TV shows like the 
the Obi-Wan show and Book of Boba Fett. None of the stuff made sense. I mean, look what you did with uh, in the Mandalorian. And you you got Cobb Vanth, you got Cad Bane. There's so many people that you can put in this movie. Just don't let all those people overtake the main focus. That was your lightning in a bottle, Disney. So let it end off right. And we'll see. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be um, 120 million. Can you swing in that? I'm not sure it's going to be enough this time. It's kind of lowballing something something like this, because I I don't know. May, maybe you want to make more than one movie, and you want to start off with that. But see, when, when you do, just end off on that. When you start doing that, like, well, it leaves it open to other movies, you know. After this, I'm like, just just leave it off on that and find find your way. Please, because I don't know why <laughs> this movie doesn't at least have a two hundred million dollar budget. That's an interesting question. At least a two hundred million. This is Star Wars. See, this is the problem. They'll spend it in how much? L- let's look up how much Rogue One was made for, and that thing was a friggin' masterpiece. Let's see Rogue One budget. Let's see, because they can get that budget if they can get an increase. Maybe it's lower, and then. I'm bidding high here, so let's see. One budget. No, I'm gonna have a bigger budget then, and I could really use. It was see two hundred million. Rogue One budget was two hundred million. Oh, one hundred and twenty. I think Favreau and Filoni could pull it off, and this may be a prove it deal here. Do you want me to prove it to you? I'll prove it to you. But we still don't know how the shows are going to go. What shows are going to... Is there going to be a season two of Ahsoka? Is there going to be... You know, I mean, they're ending off Andor. So there's a lot of stuff that could change this movie. But if you go back to the roots of where it started... And I really I really want Mandalorian, um, Din Djarin, and Grogu just to ride off into the sunset. I think it would be perfect. I think just don't milk this anymore. You 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 already made a ton of merch money off of Grogu, Baby Yoda, still Baby Yoda. Look at all the money you made off of that. And if you just end it off right, sometimes you got to take care of, take care of a product. You know what I mean? Just sail off into the sunset on this one. Don't wear it out. He counts as lucky stars. And he sails off into the sunset. Yeah, I don't. I I I I see that they're definitely going to push some type of agenda because it's Disney. And Mandalorian and Grogu, Lucasfilm, are still owned by Disney. So I don't know. They'll probably mess this one up. And Favreau, I know Favreau's going to try. I know Filoni's going to try. But who knows? Maybe they pull it off. Maybe they pull it off and it's it's a captivating movie and it ties all the elements from all the other shows all into one. You know? Hopefully. In theory. But anyway, I don't know. I was just rambling. I just thought about it. Do you think that $120 million is enough for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie? Please don't let that be the title. Or do you think that they could do it for less? Or do you think they just, I don't know, it's probably going to be on the back end and everything else fails. And they're like, oh, well, we didn't spend that much mo- uh, money on that. So we're good. I don't know. Tell me what you think. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.